What's going on YouTube? Uh, the video I want to do is uh, an update on this uh, Frankenstein tree. It's actually ugly. Ugly like Frankenstein. Um, it's had some fungal issues too. Um, so next year we're going to cut it. We're probably going to cut it maybe three feet off the ground. Get rid of all that top. All the top wood up there. We wanted to wait a little bit. My father-in-law was saying we should wait until the tree has veg, you know, like vegetated out enough to where it can handle all the, you know, the hard pruning like that, like cutting off all that wood, because it's going to need to heal. It's going to need all that energy to heal itself. <clears throat> so, meanwhile, I did some graphs um, right here. I did a Malika, a little side graph there, uh, a little cog shawl right there. I got an Alfonso from last month that pushed out, actually two months ago. Uh, there it is right there, it pushed out. There's, here's the union. Um, here's the lemon zest. That's a little side graph there. Um, I'm, I'm selecting the limbs that right below where I'm going to cut. So, and anything lower than that is just going to be removed. But I don't want to remove anything now because we want it to kind of build up enough energy. Uh, this one was uh, Alfonso. This one here uh, that's already pushed out. This one here is a lemon zest. See a callus right there. Right there. It's pushed out pretty good. Um, another one here, another lemon zest, a little side graft. That should be pushing out pretty soon. I did those today. Um, over here. This is lemon zest. There's the callus right there. There's the graft. Or actually, yeah, there's the graft line right there. And that one's actually done pretty good. Um, and there's several more on the tree. Uh, I got another lemon zest there, another lemon zest there. Put one up top. I shouldn't have done that because it was a Malika and we plan on cutting the top, so this yeah, the tree's got some issues. There's a lot of dead wood or dying wood. So next year this tree's gonna get chopped and we'll have a brand new structure on this tree. It's a shame that we lost all the work that we put into it from the year before because it really grew tremendously. I mean, even like from now, like like this time of year, we're exiting out of our rainy season, so we're having, we have more daylight. Like we're not like covered by the clouds as much as you are during the winter, uh, the summertime, like the rainy season time. You get a few hours of sun, and then you get a lot of a lot of clouds. Right now, we get a lot of light. So these trees, this is the time of year where they're going to be. They're pushing out growth so that they can get ready to push some flowers through. So, um, anyway, I just thought I would share this one with you. And um, as always, thank you for watching.